Bu Batangas. Mr. Primitivo Jr. Uh, Angit Ferolino, 23 years old, of Sa Pasanang, Zamboanga City, son of Primit Primitivo C. Ferolino and Marilyn S. Angit, wishes to construct holy matrimony with Miss Sunshine, and Sunshine Antaran Co Cole, 26 years old of Pasanang, Zamboanga City, daughter of Loreto E. Colin and Charlita A. Antaran. Their marriage will be on September 30, 2022, 9 a.m. here at Santuario de San Roque Parish. Mr. Jeffrey Tobio Benito, 30 years old of Kabatangan, Zamboanga City, son of Danilo P. Benito and Bregeda S. Tubio, wishes to contract holy matrimony with Miss Maria Victor Victoria Grafe Takyang, 36 years old of San Roque, Zamboanga City, daughter of Ambrosio B. Takyang and Elena Z. Grafe. Their marriage will be on October 18, 2022, 2 p.m. here at Santuario de San Roque Parish. Mr. Marciano Mark Midel Valle, 29 years old of San Roque, Zamboanga City, son of Alfred V. E. Valle, and Jasmine F. Midel wishes to contract holy matrimony with Miss Renelli Hyacinth Santos Sabanal, 29 years old of Mercedes, Zamboanga City, daughter of Monico G. Sabanal and Modesta E. Santos. Their marriage will be on October 20, 2022 at 2 o'clock p.m. here at Santuario de San Roque Parish. Mr. Joseph Gregorio Panidar, 24 years old of San Roque, Zamboanga City, son of Felicito Sr. and Pilar S. Gregorio, wishes to contract holy matrimony with Miss Beverly S. Cuban, 24 years old of San Roque, Zamboanga City, daughter of Rodrigo M. Kakdak and Mar Marilyn S. Cuban. Their marriage will be on October 29, 2022, here at Santuario de San Roque Parish, San Ro Zamboanga City. If there are any impediments re regarding these marriages, please inform the parish priest or to the parish office. Thank you.
for the soul of Angeline offered by Elizabeth and Geraldine Victoria McCoy Cruz. We are inviting young people ages 13 to 39 years old to join the Archdiocesan Youth Caravan here in our parish. For registration, please visit the parish office or contact Kenneth and Dinabel. Thank you for your continued support to the parish. Thanksgiving Mass for good health and more blessings received offered by Rosenda Caballes and family. The readings and the God us that we must become more aware of God's presence in and among us through, with, and in Jesus Christ. It is only with the heart of Christ that we can bridge the gap between us and our suffering brothers and sisters. Today, as we celebrate the 27th National Seafarers Day, we pray for thousands of Filipino seafarers in the international and domestic maritime industry. May they always be worthy ambassadors of our country and ambassadors of Christ by carrying with and among them the richness of our Filipino traditions and Christian culture. Please all stand as we sing our entrance hymn of praise.
Additional Mass Incension Thanksgiving Offering for the Birthday of Engineer Merham Akas, offered by the family. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God, glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace on earth, peace the peace.
Let us pray. O God, who manifest your almighty power, above all by pardoning and showing mercy, bestow, we pray, your grace abundantly upon us and make those hastening to attain your promises heirs to the treasures of heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the liturgy of the word. A reading from the book of prophet Amos. Thus says the Lord, the God of hosts, woe to the complacent of Zion, lying upon a bed of ivory, stretched comfortably on their couches. They eat lambs taken from the flock and calves from the stall, improvising to the music of the harp. Like David, they devise their own accompaniment. They drink wine from bowls and anoint themselves with the best oils. Yet, they are not made ill by the collapse of Joseph. Therefore, now they shall be the first to give into exile. And their wanton revelry shall be done away with. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise the Lord, my soul. Praise the Lord, my soul. My soul. Praise the Lord, my soul. Bless is he who keeps Faith forever secures justice for the oppressed, gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets captives free. the Lord my soul. Praise the Lord my soul. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord raises up those who are bound down. The Lord loves the just. The Lord protects strangers. Praise the Lord, my soul. Praise the Lord, my soul. The fatherless. The Lord shall reign forever. You are God, O Zion, through all generations. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, my soul. Praise the Lord, my soul. Praise the Lord. 
Lord, my soul. Praise the Lord, my soul. A reading from the first letter to St. Paul to Timothy. But you, man of God, pursue righteousness, devotion, faith, love, patience, and gentleness, complete well for the faith. Lay hold of eternal life to which you were called, where you made the noble compassion in the presence of many witnesses, I charge you before God, who gives life to all things, and before Christ God, Jesus, who gave Timothy under Pontius Pilate for the noble compassion, to keep the commandment without strain or reproach, until the appearance of our Lord Jesus Christ, that the blessed and the only ruler will make manifest at the proper times, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, who alone has immortality, who dwells in approachable lights, and whom no human being has seen on, or can see, to him be honor and eternal power. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all stand to honor the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to the Pharisees, there was a rich man who dressed in purple garments and fine linen and dined sumptuously each day. And lying at his door was a poor man named Lazarus covered with sores who would gladly have eaten his fill of the scraps that fell from the rich man's table. Dogs even used to come and lick his sores. When the poor man died, he was carried away by angels to the bosom of Abraham. The rich man also died and was buried, and from the nether world where he was in torment. 
he raised his eyes and saw Abraham far off and Lazarus at his side. And he cried out, Father Abraham, have pity on me. Send Lazarus to dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue. For I am suffering torment in these flames. Abraham replied, My child, remember that you received what was good during your lifetime, while Lazarus likewise received what was bad. But now he is comforted here, whereas you are tormented. Moreover, between us and you, a great chasm is established to prevent anyone from crossing who might wish to go from our side to yours or from your side to ours. He said, Then I beg you, Father, send him to my father's house, for I have five brothers, so that he may warn them lest they too come to this place of torment. But Abraham replied, They have Moses and the prophets. Let them listen to them. He said, Oh, no, Father Abraham. If someone from the dead goes to them, they will repent. Then Abraham said, if they will not listen to Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded if someone should rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. After the homily, we'll have the investiture of the new members of our Knights of the Altar. And it's inspiring to see them at their young age that they have the desire to serve the Lord. There is a Jewish story about Rabbi Joshua who visited Rome in the 3rd century. He was astounded to behold the magnificence of the buildings. He was especially struck by the care lavished upon statues, which were covered with exquisite clothes to protect them from the summer heat. As he was admiring the beauty of Roman art, a beggar plucked at his sleeve and asked for a crust of bread. The sage, Rabbi Joshua, looked at the statutes and turning to the men in rags, he said, Here are statutes of stone covered with expensive clothes. Here is a man created in the image of God covered with rags. A civilization that pays more attention to statutes than to human beings shall surely perish. Ni mang ka malo bisti dalimuda unel mga santo mga santa mga karo karo kamisa hindi man si malo kay grande man si respeto pero si el gente generoso na ang sina klase de expenditures hindi tamen le debe mangkanalia kon el mga hente ket tene necesidad Amos's harsh attack in our first reading is directed against the political leaders against the aristocrats who live in the palace of Samaria Kosabase mga aristocrats. Aristocrats are those who belong to the upper or privileged class. So mga riko. 
And this reading shows the anger of Amos, who can no longer bear the sight of laborers so shamelessly exploited by the big landowners by forcing them to pass all the day working in their fields under a scorching heat of scorching heat sun and returning home in the evening totally exhausted by fatigue while the leaders of Samaria pass their time in their palaces partying banqueting and enjoying themselves they have ivory cows couches they lie down on soft, soft mattresses bali dila mga beds blando they dine on very tasty food sabroso mga comida and the tender meat of the lambs they play they dance and invent songs koda lang yo kun the story of father luis halandoni si father luis halandoni used to be in charge of social action of a particular diocese el mga gente kung kinlin immerse this yo sarili mga sakadas tatrabaha na sugar plant sugar cane plantation tubuhan ba and they were poorly paid trabaha sila mucho gayod kahago sila trabaho but they were poorly paid and dela suelto ben duty lang El mga hacienderos, senderas, kita duwe niya kung el mga sugar cane plantations, imbunamente el vida. But here came mga sakadas, mga tatrabaha na sugar cane plantation, ke sufri mucho. And Father Luis Halandoni sided with them. Yan hunto le kanila para man demonstrate, man rally, contra kon el injustice, kaya kumite kon el mga pobre. Pero sad to say, Accordingly, in one of the rallies and President si Father Luis Alandoni, they were fired at by the military men. And that started his being a rebel. Father Luis Alandoni was a Catholic priest. Among kel ko sa pasukunili, asa ay kedali rebelde, miyembo del NPA. But he had a good cause, but it was not good that he would become a rebel. But that was, that was part of the story of Father Luis Alandoni. No puede le man stomach, man traga el mga injusticia kaya asi kun el mga pobre. Kumasi na tumay niya pa sa kun propeta Amos na first reading. Kabartin ele prophecy kun el mga gente, aristocrats, political leaders kaya asi injusticia kun el mga pobre. In a few years, their enemies will come, the Assyrians, and they will burn down their palaces and destroy their city. The lazy leaders will be dragged from their ivory couches and will be led to Nineveh as slaves. Kosa yan prophesy si Amos yakida liberasan. What lesson can we get from this first reading? Every Christian should not exploit or take advantage of the poor. And he or she must show love and concern for others, especially those who have less in life. I did say this last time during my homily. When God blesses you, he has a purpose for doing so. He has blessed you so that you will become a blessing to others too. St. Paul urges us to see things from the perspective of eternal life. That we have to pursue righteousness, devotion, faith, love, patience, and gentleness. And we have to compete well for the faith. We have to lay hold of eternal life to which we were called. Maga hermano e hermana, especialmente con el mga family men, que el mga hombre usually are breadwinners na familia. There's nothing wrong when you work hard for your families para encontrasen, man la vida, 
man meet el mga needs material na familia man sustain kun el mga anak ti ustedes para entra escuela en buenamente there's nothing wrong with that but there's something wrong when todo de tiyo tiempo aja lang yakaba yakaba lang na busca da sin por eso tupao ko sa tamanda ako da kanaton si san pablo ara hindi lang kita buska mga material things. Although we live in this material world, we also have to pursue righteousness, devotion, faith, love, patience, and gentleness among others. Pero so, it's edifying that you make it the point to come to Mass, especially on a Sunday. Tatindi o tulis misa. Because you are pursuing your faith and you show it in practice by praying, especially attending Mass. And, Nadimio, binti aniya paka padre, nai payo uwi gente katoliko kristyano, kaita arepinti, kaita andali na misa. Pero manada beses yo ito uwi, un katolik, manada yayo beses ya uwi, mga katoliko kristyano kay taarepinti kay hindi tanda na misa. And I also say this, I insist on saying this, it is unthinkable for a Catholic Christian to continue living his or her Catholic life without loving the Mass. Because when you love the Mass, it's just like you love Jesus. Because Jesus is truly present in the Mass. St. Paul adds in 1 Timothy 6, 17-19, this is dedicated addressed to the rich, when el mga rico. Tell the rich in the present age not to be proud. And there are rich who are not proud. Tiene mga pobre proud. And not to rely on so uncertain a thing as wealth, but rather on God who richly provides us with all things for our enjoyment. Years ago, we had the experience of what we call world crisis. Yetene crisis na entero mundo. And there were sad news like a billionaire from Germany, a billion, a two billionaires from the U.S. committed suicide. Kaya afektaw el diila status na diila pagkariko. Kaya tinagal ni krisis global. Tine gente, ito yung local, sort of, ancho daw, ancho, malapad ang kanyang sementera, as far as your eyes can see. Kabar, tanbugal ele. Yablale, kay sir kay man kuset siya el mga palay, bin ancho gayo el si sementera. Yablale, si man harvests ya el si mga palay, Elia, el pinakariko gente na di siyo barangay. He put his trust on his mga palay. Kung sepa sa, yan tine malo el tiempo, puerta el ulan, yan avenida, yan sige na todo, di siyo palay na avenida. Tine tamen mga eksperensya del gente, ese tine temblor, tine tipon, El cosas te apunda el gente ya en accumulate por causa na ansin ang mga kalamidad ya kabalang perde todo. Por eso, debe el gente confia con el Dios. Por eso, tiene kansyon ansin ang mga palabra. Some men rely on their power. Others put trust in their gold. Some men have only their Savior, whose faithfulness never grows old. So we have to trust on our Savior, whose faithfulness never grows old. We should not trust on power or nor riches. Tell them, uh, St. Paul continues his address to the rich, to do good, to be rich in good works. Rico na mga buen trabajo. To be generous, ready to share. Thus accumulating as treasure, a good foundation for the future so as to win the life that is true life, eternal life. 
I'd like to make sort of illustration here. Is a phrase ready to share. Tiene dos attitude tasale na unhente o na mga hente. Tasale effort. Primero, tasale effort. I tan kompyale na disyo abilidad, talent, skills, kapasidad, kapabilidad. Ta kompyale todo. Ari su esfuerzo, abilidad, skills, kapasidad, kapabilidad. Ara, ya tiene le buen resulta, no cosa le hace esfuerzo. Tiene produce, tiene product. Cosa es su attitude. Akin yan, pinaghirapan ko yan. Galing yan sa aking pawis. Ang sina, attitude. Kay Kwando ya sele effort ya kumpya le ko na kelios skills talents abilities capacities capabilities ya chenele ko sa bueno akin yan pinaghirapan ko yan number two attitude which we all should imitate ta sel gente esfuerzo effort pimile tabla inshallah god willing if god permits kung maluoy ang ginoo, kung may awa ang Panginoon. So, as he or she works, tanri laile, kung el awa, lastima, kaluoy, ayuda del Senyor. At siya nila buen resulta, produce, na ko sa layase, hindi le keda kanalia. Porque man, kaya abla le, estaba si kong Diyos. Akel, First attitude, el gente, ang sinakasi el pensamiento, no hay man realize que aquel Dios con quien le usa mga abilidad, talents, capabilities, capacities, di quien man que le estaba siempre. Con Dios lang siempre. Pero ta, como tan only, como di suyo. We should adapt that second attitude that whenever we undertake something, we exert effort, tali firme el Dios. Kapag tiene produce ng cosa que tataase, Abla kita, I should never be selfish because this comes from God. The rich man in the gospel is not condemned because he was rich. No hay kunele kondena por causa kay rico le. Hindi malo kay rico. He is not punished because he lived in abundance. Lazarus, aquel pobre na evangelio, is not rewarded because he was poor. He is not favored because he was in need. Why is a rich man condemned? Diba? El cuento. El gente rico, ta usa camisa de rico, ta come mga rico comida, alegre le na su vida. Comfort, very comfortable kind of life. Talia kunele, un gente pobre. Si Lazarus. Ta depende lang si Lazarus na kosa takay na mesa del del rico gente. And he had sores all over his body and the dogs would even lick the sores. Yamuri sila dos, there was reversal of fortune. Porque man, si Lazarus kaya sufri, imbunamente ya nasa bakan di Abraham. Mientras el rico gente ta tormenta. Question, why is a man, rich man condemned? It is because he did nothing. According to this, na penitential right, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, that's commission. In the second phrase, the next phrase, in what I have failed to do. That was the mistake of the rich man. He failed to do what he should do. He did nothing. Merong mga, tiyan yung mga hente tabla, naman yung kosa si malo. Wala mga ginawang masama. O, may ginawa ka rin mabuti. Na ito si malo, yung asya tamin ito bueno. He had all the means to help and he had all the chances to uplift the sad situation of Lazarus. 
yet he did not do it. He was insensitive to the sufferings of Lazarus. He simply did not care. Por eso, tupaw, asa kita philosophy, el mga palaba na kansyon, walang sino man ang nabubuhay para sa sarili lamang. Tayong lahat ay may pananagutan sa isa't isa. Era sabi kay Rico Hente, kay Ese Kansyon, kaba man adapli ko mo philosophy of life. Tayong lahat ay may pananagutan sa isa't isa. If only the rich man had been charitable, if only he had used his riches to help, then he would have been saved. Kiber, el sufrimiento, tormento, et chenele, abdale, Father Abraham, send Lazarus to dip the tip of his finger na agua and then put it on my tongue because I'm suffering a lot from the flames. Nag-anto siya sa kainit sa kayo, tatormentale, tasuprile na kalor. Kiber, no? El sufrimiento de suyo. Riches should never be used only to enrich oneself. The goods of this world are for all and must be shared out. Whoever has more must give to the one who has less or has nothing so as to reach equality. Hindi todo mga amo bueno. Pero na esta historia story of a poor maid and her very rich lady employer, na chinele amo, mal kustumbre, mata pobre. Kaba el sad pa gayod, pimipatanda na misa, a coco. Pimipatanda na misa, pero mal kustumbre, mata pobre. Pero este maid, no hay por donde, kay pimi lang CA, ki CA. Pero generous man tayo may alamo, especially December. Inday, taga-anti ka gatas day. Dali kung tigo leche. Thank you, ma'am. Alegre si Inday, recibi e leche, el gatas, powder milk. Memera si Inday, expiration date, ma'am. Expired naman ni ma'am. Tiene pa si allowance, Inday. Pwede pa si three months. Madali man leche, expired pa. Un dia, el hermano di Inday, ya queda victima de quema. So si Inday, ya anda kong disyo amo kay disyo amo, el negosyo manada, lumber yard, hardware. Ya bila si Inday, ma'am, nasunugan ba ako iksuon, ma'am? Nasunugan, biktima di kay ma'am yung hermano. Pidi eda ayuda, ma'am. Maskin kwanto palo lang, ma'am, para himuog payag. Mas maayon po, ma'am, kung naapo yung mga sin, o gamay nga mga kayero ba ang sina. Na el amo, shh! Lamalo ko doon siya ang kargaw. O dali ko ng hermano di Inday, palo. Pero akil na pwede pwede bende, akil maanay ang mga palo. Dali siya, akil bulok ya, siya ni Aguero. El yero makalawang. Ang mo di siya attitude? Kasi ang ito pwede as eh. El pobre, resibi lang tamin. Yamuri si Inday. Yamuri tamin el amo. Na yan atubang entertain niya resibi si San Pedro kung el amo. Ma'am, welcome. El SOP ake ma'am arriba, antes yo contigo liba na rito yung casa, liba na yung contigo pasya. Okay, pasya sila. Yan meron sila kasa bin bonito gayod, well landscaped, chini pa swimming pool. Ya bila si San Pedro, bam, ese kasa di Inday. Kau saya gayut, abla kita al ada grand di Sohos, kasa si di Inday, made langkir di mewan si nasiu kasa, si guru si ase kami go hatud si Pedro mewan kasa mah grand di padi, si mah bunyi tu pa. Kuando si Pedro ya lebay kon madam nadi siu kasa ada saya kena pang pang, si nela kasa kerja tumba, porkiman. Kay el palo tao sa maanay. El techo tao sa uh, roto. El miero makalawang. And, e habla si Pedro, Madam, amo sa ito yung kasa. 
unsa ka Pedro wa ka kuya pe El casa gale di inday bien bonito made lang kil di meo Ma'am aki ariba We construct houses based on the materials you sent Ta construi kami casa aki base na mga materyales kay imbya ka namon Kusa ti imbya ma'am palo maanay Pati yung imbiya ma'am, techo, agwero, bulok yan. Pati makalawang. My brothers and sisters, mentas tiki pa kita ng mundo, imbiya kita mga good works, mga charitable works, para si mamuri kita e di atong kasa na syelo, made of materialist fuertes, bien bonito, manhunto kita kong Diyos, iman alegre, asa para kwando. We will now have the right of investiture of our Knights of the Altar. May I request all altar servers to please stand and step forward when once your name is called. Alvaras Jomari Anulay Kevin. Banwa Kim Nico Baraba Mike. Cruz Ricomar. Candido Gian Custodio Raymond Serialis Cyrus Serialis Cedric Corpus Christian De La Cruz EJ Fabian Erizel Mark Francisco Rojan Waton RJ Gonzales Jude General Jared Danson Orabe Marco Orquijo James Pastor 30 Orquijo Kyle Aaron Saavedra Joshua Prado Vanes Senyara Emverick Remolano Simon Janos Daniel Signo, Siglos Kyle Reverend and dear Father Marsh Villagrasha before you and the community of believers are the are the altar servers and new members who wish to be officially recognized as the members of the Knights of the Altar. These altar servers are now qualified to become certified members to serve at the Eucharistic celebrations based on the formation program they had prior to this rite. Our beloved young men of the altar, your presence before God and the people of God affirms your willingness and commitment to serve Jesus as the Knights of the Altar. Do you know what this means? Will you give and show your faithfulness and loyalty to the parish, to the church authorities? Are you ready and willing to commit yourselves and your time to serve wholeheartedly to this kind of service and with full responsibility? Blessing of liturgical vestments. Let us pray, Father, all-powerful and ever-living God. You have appointed your Son to be the mediator of the new covenant. Pour forth the gifts of your grace upon your chosen ministers of your sacred mysteries so that by wearing these vestments while officiating at your holy altars, they may serve your people by presenting... The the word, the bread of life, they may distinguish themselves through their integrity of faith, and they may be conspicuous through their observance of the gospel precepts through Christ our Lord, together with the Holy Spirit, forever and ever. Amen.
May we now call on the parents or sponsors of this altar service to assist in investing the new vestments. The parents will now assist the altar servers in vesting their garments. After vesting, the altar servers will now prostrate themselves as a sign of their commitment of service to Jesus in the Holy Eucharist. Now you are all ready and certified to serve at various church liturgies. Make your vow and commitment of service before God and this community of believers. This commitment part will be led by the president of the Knights of the Altar. Repeats after me. Lord Jesus Christ, we are here to serve you. We shall strive hard to the best of our ability to be ever loyal and faithful to our duties and responsibilities. In serving at the Holy Mass and other church liturgies, and to offer my simple service to this community through the Holy Catholic Church. I pledge to be a good example to my fellow men, believers or non-believers, and to help the church build your kingdom here on earth. We are called by God to serve at the Knights of the Altar. We believe that, that are not alone in this kind of service. We are with Jesus Christ and our brothers with this in mind, we vow to serve the Holy Rom Roman Catholic and Apostolic Church with all our hearts together 
with the author, with the authorities of this ministry. May we ever faithful in our service to you. Dear Lord Jesus, through the intercession of the Blessed Mary, our Mother. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we have witnessed the love of these young men to our Lord Jesus and in His church. May they be truly live out their promises and be good examples to the community. Let us rejoice and agree with them in their endeavors. Let us give them a big hand of applause. We now I profess our faith. I believe, I believe in, in one, one God, God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through Him all things were made. For as men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and he was, was buried, buried and rose, rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Father, you love us so overwhelmingly that you never hesitated to enter our wretched humanity. Except sin through through, with, and in Jesus, your Son. Help us to reject our tendency to go astray and imitate your unconditional and unquestioning love. We pray, Father, help us grow richer in love. Father, help us grow richer in love. Loving God, open wide, shut our minds and hearts that as a church, we may not turn a blind eye to the needs of our brothers and sisters, especially of those who are hurt or discriminated against in any way, shape, or form. We pray. Father, help us grow richer in love. Loving God, illumine the, high, the hearts, minds, and wills of public servants so that all their discernment and actions may always be directed towards the praise service and reverence of your most holy name we pray father help us grow richer in love loving god preserve and protect our seafarers as they continue to serve humanity through the self-sacrifice they make sustain their families and friends while they are far from home we pray father help us grow richer in love Loving God, embrace our brothers and sisters who are currently struggling in their mental health. May they find comfort and hope from you through the people and around them. We pray. Father, help us grow richer in love. Loving God, welcome our departed loved ones in the, into the rich, richness of your eternal presence in paradise. We pray. Father, help us grow richer in love. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Father, help us grow richer in love. Loving God, direct, we beseech you, all our decisions and actions so that we too may become enriching grace towards each other through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you forever. Amen. Amen.
Please be seated for the liturgy of the Eucharist. Please all stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant us a merciful God that this, our offering, we find acceptance with you, and that through it the wellspring of all blessing may be laid open before us, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty in our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father. 
Almighty and Eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body, we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Moises, our Apostolic Administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. 
Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with San Roque, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Please all stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
please all stand. Let us pray. May this heavenly mystery, O Lord, restore us in mind and body, that we may be called heirs in glory with Christ, to whose suffering we are united whenever we proclaim his death, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Thank you for being so generous with your time. Kay Largo El Misa. After all, who owns your time? The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Clap your hands, our loving God. Uh.